All right, so then we have our lacto category. This is kind of our hero product. Um, at the event that I attended last night, I was, I was speaking with a gentleman, and he's like, I'm kind of a lazy client. I'm the client, I just, I want to do like as least, least steps as possible. Of course, it was a guy, right? Uh, you know, something simple, something easy, what should it be? And I said, use a lacto. The lacto category is my category of if I was stranded on a desert island and I could only bring one skincare product with me, it would be one of these three. I want you to write down, this is gonna be like brushing your teeth. These are going to be used morning and night. What's so great about this lacto category is the multifunctional, multifaceted ability of these products. So when you pump them out, they're gonna look creamy. They're gonna have a nice hydrating texture feel to them so they can hydrate the skin. Then when we dive deeper into the ingredients in each one, they're also an exfoliant. They also stimulate gag production in the skin so they kind of act like a toner. It does all the things. It's a boot, it's a heel, it's a sandal. We love it, it does all the best, right? So with our Lacto 10, our Lacto 10 is a 10% lactic acid and an emollient cream base. So it's nice and hydrating, it's super lightweight, and it's a 10% lactic acid. So remember, lactic acid, 5% or higher, lightens, brightens, tightens, hydrates, exfoliates. This is gonna have the Derm Shield in it. Why? Look at the pH we're taking the skin down to with this product. A pH of 3.5. We're using this twice a day, you guys. Imagine that without the Derm Shield, you would have no skin <laughs> left, all right? So here we have the Derm Shield in there, so you can wear this daily. These are the products that I can tell you right now, if somebody's like, oh, you know what, I just bought a bunch of skin suitables or Lumiere or whatever it is. I, I, I just, I have so much. I go, you know, just buy one of our lactos that plays nice with others, let me know what you think. Within a week, they're like, oh, yeah, what else you got from you? Because it's such an amazing product. Within that first week, they'll notice the change in their skin. It's super soft. It's super even. It's gl glowy is the word I get all the time. My skin looks glowy. So Lacto 10, who is this going to be designed for? For more of your normal combination to sensitive patients, right? So it can be anybody in between there, but it can go from normal combination to sensitive. Then we're gonna take it up a notch a little bit here, and we're gonna go to our Lacto Ceramide 15. So guess what percentage of lactic acid we have in here? 15%, but because we went up a little bit in that lactic acid, we wanted to make sure that the skin was gonna be nourished and not over exfoliated. So we added ceramides to it. We added ceramides two, three, and six. So when you pump this one out, it's gonna feel a little bit more weighted. You're gonna feel a little bit more um, hydration or emollients to it. So who this is gonna be good for is think of your normal combination to dry aging clients and everybody in between. So what's very popular is people will use the Lactoceramide 15 in the winter time in the colder, drier months, and then they move to the Lacto 10 in the summer months because it's a little bit warmer, they want something lighter. Or sometimes people will even do the Lacto 10 during the day and the 15 at night, all right? Then last but not least, it has a different name. Lacto isn't in it, but trust me, it's part of the Lacto family. But it's called Intensive Hydrogel, all right? Uh, intensive Hydrogel, and if, I just want to put it out there. If you go on the website and you see Therapeutic Hydrogel, it's the same thing, okay? In the United States, we weren't allowed to use the word intensive. I don't know why. So there's a, a few little name changes here and there. Uh, you guys have Health Canada, we have the FDA. They're the same thing, they make things hard. But uh, just, just know if you see those name changes, it's the same exact product. So here, you're gonna find a 10% lactic acid plus a 2% salicylic acid. So salicylic acid, as we know, is amphiphilic, or uh, lipophilic, not amphiphilic, lipophilic, meaning it loves oil. It's attracted to the oils in the skin. So here we're gonna be, who do you think this is gonna be good for? Salicylic acid, who do we think? Acne. Acne. So think of your intensive hydrogel for your normal combination to oily and or acne skin types. 
So this, as the name implies, has a very lightweight gel application to it. So if somebody has kind of a, you know, they're weird about creams, they don't want anything real heavy on their skin, show them the intensive hydrogel. Um, I personally, right now, I'm having kind of a breakout moment in my skin, so I've been using the intensive hydrogel for the last week or so. It's been great, I have it on right now. Super comfortable, lightweight, absorbs quickly, goes to work. It's beautiful. That lactic plus that salicylic really helps decongest the follicle. Now with these three products, I have one rule. You gotta give it a little bit of time before you put your eye cream on over the top and your moisturizer if you need it. Some clients, especially in the summertime, feel that this gives them enough moisture that they don't need a moisturizer, and that's fine. But typically in you know, drier months, colder, drier months, or people who are just drier by nature, they typically want another moisturizer over the top. You have to wait about a minute to a minute and a half before applying any other product on over the top. Because of this, the pH change, all right? So all of these products are gonna hover around like a 3.2, 3.5. They get kind of low, all right? So when you plop that on the skin, the skin goes, oh, wait a minute, hang on, different pH. Let me, let me get used to this, get to know it, and adjust to it, right? If I immediately put an eye cream on, or a sunscreen on, or a moisturizer on, or my makeup on, it's gonna start rolling and pilling off the skin. So I always say, it's like if, you're, if you have a soccer player, he's running down the field, kicking and trying, I don't play soccer, clearly you can tell by my jerky movements, I'm not athletic in that way. But you know, if they're running down the field and all of a sudden I go, here, hold this baby. The soccer player's like, I can't do both of these things at the same time. Your skin's the same way. It's like, hey, I'm trying to adjust to this pH right now. Please don't put anything on me right this second because I'm not gonna be able to take it in. So I always tell people, put this on. This goes on after all of your serums. So again, when we get to the protocols, you're gonna see the layering options that you have. This goes on towards the end. Once this goes on, brush your teeth, do your hair, feed the cat, swipe on Tinder, I don't watch a TikTok, do something to take up a little bit of time then you can apply your eye cream, moisturizer, SPF, makeup, whatever it is that you're gonna put on top. But that's really the only rule here. Otherwise, they're gonna get that rolling and they're pilling and they're not gonna like that. But these are such incredible products, this is a must have. Yes, if you put the eye cream on previous to this, will you still get the pilling? Great question. So the reason why we teach to put the eye cream on after is that, that uh, neuropeptide, that DDBD, mm -hmm. is quite stimulating. Some people, it's, it's weird, I'd say about 30% of the population when they put it on before the lacto, it burns. Oh. So that's why I typically just teach, put the lacto on first. Now we're laying down an exfoliant so that when you put the eye cream on over the top, the exfoliant's gonna help it in a very safe way drop through the layers of the skin. You could try it either way, mm -hmm. but just don't be shocked if somebody's like, oh, I felt that a right. lot. Um, and so to, to kind of just counteract that, we typically recommend to put it on after a lacto. I've done it both ways. It's, again, dealer's choice, okay? But great question. 